And they said, well, what's new? What did you find out that we didn't know before? And of course, the big answers are uh, the, the first galaxies grew differently than we expected, and we don't know why their old predictions were wrong. The James Webb Space Telescope keeps finding new things. These discoveries really change how we understand the universe. This telescope looks far back in time and shows us things we didn't know before. But now, a big surprise. A new discovery has changed what we thought we knew about the universe's size. It might mean we were totally wrong about how big it is. In a recent scientific paper, researchers shared new findings from the Webb telescope. They found objects that appeared just 120 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery might shake up our understanding of the standard cosmological model. Astronomers say this surprises them because they didn't expect to see such things in the early universe images taken by the Webb telescope. It challenges the idea that the universe is very old, but not infinitely old as previously thought. Einstein's assumption that the universe had no beginning point was proven wrong. This revelation tells us that our assumptions have been mostly incorrect. We're confident that there's much more to discover. Consider this. When the Webb telescope gazes as far into space as possible, it can see only about 46.5 billion light years away. This span is known as the Hubble radius or Hubble sphere, which defines the limit of our visible universe. The farthest galaxies spotted by the James Webb Telescope are also within this Hubble sphere. For instance, the most remote galaxy ever found, Maisie's galaxy, existed just 450 million years after the Big Bang and falls within the Hubble sphere. However, our universe is expanding, making this Hubble region grow larger. Objects beyond this region may become visible because of this expansion. But here's the intriguing part. The universe is not only expanding, but also accelerating in its expansion. Beyond the Hubble sphere's edge, this expansion occurs faster than the speed of light. Due to this rapid expansion, the Hubble region won't keep increasing indefinitely. Extremely distant objects light attempting to reach us is affected by this acceleration. The space between us and those far-off objects stretches so rapidly that their emitted light cannot reach us. Essentially, the light from these distant stars and galaxies is moving away from us faster than it can reach us. This means the Hubble sphere will stop growing once it reaches a limit called the cosmic horizon, defining what we term the observable universe. The observable universe is like a massive imaginary sphere that spans 93 billion light years around us. This boundary marks the farthest distance we can see galaxies or stars. The light reaching us from inside this sphere must have traveled for a long time to reach our eyes. Anything lying beyond this sphere will remain forever invisible to us. Even with the most advanced telescopes we can imagine, we won't be able to see beyond this boundary because the light from there hasn't reached us yet. Now, you might wonder, how vast is the entire universe outside this visible boundary? The truth is, we're not certain. Our estimations and mathematical models in some current cosmological theories propose different answers. However, we lack enough data to confidently determine the exact size, and it's possible we may never have all the answers. Some research suggests that our complete universe is at least 250 times larger than what we can currently observe in our observable universe. There are guesses suggesting that our universe might be incredibly vast, about 10 raised to the power of 10 raised to the power of 10 raised to the power of 1 22 times larger than what we can observe. This number is gigantic with an enormous amount of digits. However, our universe might actually be infinite in size. Here's something fascinating. 
when we look really far into space, we're actually looking back in time. The farthest galaxies we see using telescopes like Hubble are not galaxies existing now, but rather ones that existed billions of years ago. This means we're observing the universe's past. According to our usual idea, about 14 billion years ago, the entire observable universe, and even what lies beyond that, would have squeezed into an incredibly tiny, infinite point called the singularity. But if the universe is infinite, which it appears to be, that concept might not hold true. It suggests that the Big Bang happened everywhere in the universe simultaneously. Galaxies didn't form in specific spots, they formed everywhere, even beyond what we can currently see. It seems like matter popped into existence everywhere in the universe at the same time. The cosmic microwave background radiation, which we detect from all directions, might be the very first light of matter coming into existence everywhere in the universe. This hints that the singularity might not be the source of everything. Rather, it could be an infinite space where everything came into existence about 13.8 billion years ago. However, recent findings from the James Webb Telescope challenge our understanding of the estimated age of our universe. Each image from this telescope shows unexpected things that make us reconsider the Big Bang model of a 13.8 billion year old universe. A recent discovery by the James Webb Telescope changed everything. This telescope found a super far away galaxy named F200 DBZ045, possibly 168 million years after the Big Bang. If confirmed, this galaxy could be one of the earliest and most distant known galaxies. It's still being tested for confirmation, but if it is indeed confirmed, our standard model of the universe will need another update to better estimate the universe's age. The Webb Telescope also found massive early galaxies just a few million years after the Big Bang, which challenges our current understanding. According to our model, it's nearly impossible for galaxies to form that quickly, requiring nearly all the gas in the universe to turn into stars at almost 100% efficiency, something very difficult, almost impossible, in scientific terms. Our own Milky Way took 13.7 billion years to form, but these early galaxies appeared much faster, potentially changing how we see the earliest galaxies forming. Additionally, a research group using the James Webb Telescope discovered two merging black holes 700 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery showcases the power of the telescope, revealing early black hole collisions. Scientists think that frequent merging of black holes might have contributed to their growth in the early universe. All these findings suggest that our universe might be much older than we thought or might not have had a definite beginning. It's possible that our universe has always existed and what we perceive as the Big Bang might have been just one moment in its ongoing evolution. However, more research is necessary. It's uncertain whether this idea of an eternal universe aligns with our current scientific theories about the events during the Big Bang. This ongoing debate in cosmology challenges our understanding of the universe. Share your thoughts in the comments about this ongoing cosmic puzzle. Thank you for watching.